I don't know. I, who impressed you? I mean, you, no one's going to beat you out on the pick, so I mean, who, who, who out there was... It's, it's interesting. This morning, when you watch the, the 40s and you watch the testing, you look at all, you know, you pull your sheet out and you look at all the numbers, and then you look at, just, just based on the numbers and the film work, you're like, okay, this is how I think things might go down. Um, and then we talked about it over lunch day. We're like, hey, the, this, this is, I think, the way it's going to unfold, and I predict this is what we do at one. This is, I predict, what's going to be sitting there at at six and then you go watch the players compete and it, it murkied the water. I mean it was a there wasn't any definitive winners and losers today. I think everybody competed hard. I think maybe some of the kids that you graded high versus the kids that maybe graded a little bit lower and you know they all sort of they had they had some good reps, they had some bad reps. So now it's a matter of we'll, we'll sit down and have to watch this film a lot more uh, closely over the next couple of weeks. Uh, and go back and watch some more game film. We'll involve the coaches now. We'll get involved. We'll give them the list of the top seven or eight at each position. Uh, have our coaches and coordinators have meetings on that. So, you know, it. Uh, the more information you got as this week went along, kind of murky the waters, I would say. Funny because you think it's supposed to make things easier, but it just makes it tough. It makes more work. You know what I mean? It's. It would have been fantastic if, you know, that we. If after lunch we said, all right, this is, this is the way, based on the testing numbers, based on the film, based on our grades, this is the way it's going to go, and, and those players, it all works out when they compete. But as I said, you guys, you guys watched. I mean, it was, it was a pretty even day across the board as far as offensive linemen versus the defensive linemen. Some on either side of the ball had good reps, bad reps. No, but no really, nobody really jumped out, and, and you could say that at the... At all the positions, the running back, linebackers competition, and then the DBs, receivers. You obviously saw players who had good days, and some of those drills and those one-on-ones, like the, you know, the the biasness towards the D line in that period, and the receivers in the period we just watched, and um, so you have to take that with a grain of salt. That it's not real accurate if you just sit and say who won and who lost. But um, it's, as I said, it's it's a lot more work now.